So you're thinking about making a move to Quincy and you want to know everything that there is to know about living in Quincy, like where it is and what makes it special. Where are the good shops and restaurants? But you also want to hear some of the possible downsides so you know the full story of Quincy and whether it's worth your consideration. Well, that is what we're going to tackle today in this video on the pros and cons of Quincy. But first, real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb, and I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent, and I've sold more than a 1,000 houses. We get calls, texts, and emails from folks just like you who are looking to make a move or sell their home in the Boston area, and I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to make a move in the next 9 or 90 days, it doesn't matter. Give us a call, shoot us an email, or stop by YouTubeRealEstateAgent.com and fill in your information and then we're going to reach out to you. Now, Quincy is located 11 miles south of Boston and actually shares a small border with Dorchester, which is a neighborhood in Boston. How long it could take to drive to Boston really depends on where you live in Quincy. If you're close to 93, then you would be in... 15 to 20 minute range. But if you live further out and say by Four River Bridge, then you'd be looking at more like 20 to 30 minutes. Add in a little 93 or a ponds of traffic and that 30 minutes could quickly turn into 50 minutes. Now Quincy is serviced by the Red Line with the North Quincy, Walston, Quincy Center, and the Quincy Adams Stop. The Quincy Center Stop also services the commuter rail line. There are many different Quincy neighborhoods and all of them have very different personalities. Don't worry, I'm not gonna list them all but we will hit a quick highlight reel. You've got Adam Shore, you got Hal's Net, you got Marina Bay, North Quincy, Quincy Center, Squan and Wallace and Quincy Point. Let's get into some of the pros that Quincy has. Convenience, I've already mentioned a little earlier that Quincy is one of the most convenient locations when it comes to commuting to Boston. It's not just its proximity. It also has access to the red line as well as the commuter rail. Plus, they have bus stops throughout the city as well. But let's talk about the convenience of always being around something when you live in Quincy from grocery stores to pharmacies to some amazing restaurants and cafes. It seems they are just all around the corner. Many people will tell me that they want to be in a civilization when choosing a community. If that's the case and a requirement, then the city of Quincy definitely has you covered. Waterfront and beaches. If you like the water, then know that Quincy has a lot of it. I'll say that you would be surprised about how few beaches there are compared to how much water they have. The biggest and best known beach is Wallaston Beach, which runs along Quincy Shore Drive. But then you've got neighborhoods like Squanum that have water surrounding them on all sides, but amazingly only have two beaches, Orchard Beach and Nickerson Beach. Or Marina Bay, whose main focus is a marina and the sweeping water and city views, but there is no beach there. All of the water is amazing, but just know it's not like the Cape with a ton of access points. Green space and outdoor activities. Quincy has 52 parks. I personally would follow that under a lot of parks for a small city. They have larger parks like Marymount Park, which consists of 80 acres and has everything from baseball fields, a soccer field, basketball, and tennis courts, a playground, an outdoor amphitheater, and even a boathouse. You got Faxon Park, which is 57 acres, but then you have parks like Snug Harbor Playground, which is 7.8 acres, and a handful of neighborhood parks and playgrounds as well. Historic charm. Quincy has some great old world charm throughout the entire city. It's nearly every day that I drive by the Adams National Historical Park. It's also awful because I love history, and I'm ashamed to say that I've actually never been in. One of these days, though, it's going to happen. Or United First Parish Church, and if you're into this sort of thing, I do hear Hancock Cemetery is kind of interesting. There's a lot here. After all, they are the city of presidents. Culinary scene. If you like food and enjoy a night out at a restaurant, then Quincy is a great place to call home. I personally love the Marina Bay area with restaurants like The Real House or Chanty. That entire Marina Bay area is pretty awesome. But you also have Alba, the Fat Cat, and the Townsend. Then... They have some amazing cafes like Regina Mia or Grant Street Cafe. Quincy, it's got food covered. Higher likelihood of being present. Now, I'm choking a little on this one, but it being the city of presidents and them claiming the spot for the most presidents out of any other place in the country, it could just be the leg up that you need if you're pining for that job. Diverse neighborhoods. So what do I mean by diverse neighborhoods? Well, it's that all the neighborhoods are very different. As a great example, there's a huge difference between these three neighborhoods. Marina Bay, Wallace, and Squanum. And those neighborhoods are all right next to one another. 
or consider the difference of Quincy Center or House Net. Maybe it's a bigger condo building that you're looking for. Okay, then Marina Bay or Quincy Center might be the spot for you, but maybe it's a small bungalow that's closer to the city of Boston. Well, if that's the case, then Squamish got you covered. Each neighborhood is a very different and distinct personality. Quincy really does have something for everyone. Types of housing. And then there is the type of housing that Quincy offers. It is a plus in my book. I touched on it a little just a moment ago, but Quincy has it all. If you're looking for a condo in a big building, then check. They have it. Maybe it's a condo in a smaller old two or three family conversion. Check. They got lots of those. Or heck, maybe it's a multifamily property that you're looking for. Yup, Quincy's got multifamilies. Or maybe you want the single family house with a little patch of grass. Well, if that's the case, then Quincy's got you covered there as well. Schools. I was going back and forth on where to put this one, and ultimately, well, it fell in the pro section. But it's kind of right on the line. Keep in mind that Massachusetts is ranked as one of the best school systems in the country. So a good school in the middle of our pack is an amazing school in a lot of other states. Itch.com is Quincy ranked overall in A- minus when it comes to their school district. And according to NeighborhoodScout.com, the district does rank higher than the state averages for proficiency in reading in math. What did it for me and what made me place it here is the Boston Magazine rankings, which had Quincy High School ranked as the 63rd best high school in the state and North Quincy High School ranked at number 79. To put this in perspective, a lot of people moved to Milton for the schools. Milton High School is ranked 69th. The other reason to put the Quincy schools in this category is that their school rankings, well, they've been getting better. Quincy, it's on the rise. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you live, though. There are always some downsides. So let's talk about the downsides of Quincy that you should consider if you're moving here. Density. Density is definitely a concern from some home buyers. And then there are some that would put this in the positive category. But if you're looking for a, a little larger patch of grass, then Quincy may not be the right fit for you. But lots of homes are on the smaller side. I'd say that you are living on pretty darn close to a Quincy farm if your house is on a quarter of an acre. If it's space to stretch out that you're looking for, then this isn't the place for you. But then again, if you're looking to make the move from the city because you need more room, but you just love everything that the city has to offer, then the density is probably something that you're going to love. Traffic. Quincy has a good amount of traffic, and this is because of their convenient location. 93 is one of the main thoroughways that feed the city of Boston, and Quincy sits right on it. This makes Quincy a little bit of a pass-through town for all the South Shore homeowners who live along the coast and are taking a more back road approach to getting into the city. The Posit Bridge area around rush hour is a nightmare. So is Granite Avenue for where people are jumping on 93 North. 3A is a major fruit that heavily services the communities of Weymouth Hall, Ingham, as well as Cohasset and Citrus. Limited nightlife. If you're looking for nightlife, then Quincy probably isn't going to be the place to call home. Yes, there are some bars, but it's nothing like Boston. I'll say that Quincy does offer a person, quite frankly, a bit of flexibility, especially now with Uber. You could take the red line in and grab an Uber home. Quincy's proximity to Boston makes this a relatively inexpensive experience. Pricey. The biggest negative to Quincy is probably in regards to being one of the more expensive areas to live in. Yes, the kind of is less expensive than one in Boston, but it's expensive when you start comparing it to other suburbs around Boston. You're paying for the convenience. It is true that Quincy looks like a bargain when comparing a house in Quincy to, say, one in Hingham, but I'm not sure if that's really a fair comparison. Just like the many different neighborhoods in Quincy having their very own personalities, so do all of the towns that make up the Boston metro market. Let's say it this way. The median price for a single-family home year-to-date in Quincy is $650,000, and this is compared to the median price in Massachusetts, which is $600,000. It's not cheap, but you get a lot of bang for your buck when living in Quincy. Again, my name is Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Home Seat. I hope you found this video helpful and it has helped you make the decision as to whether Quincy is a place that you'd like to call home. We would absolutely love to help you in any way. If you have questions, then give us a call, shoot us an email, or visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com. You can also find my information in the description below. And we'll give you any additional information that will help you make the decision as to whether making a move to the Quincy area is right for you. Until next time.